Hello and welcome to Trappist Nation. My name is Andreas and today we will review Monte Cats. Monte Cats might be the new kid on the block when it comes to producing a beer. But make no mistake, this abbey has been around longer than most countries. But first, we need to address the name. It has nothing to do with cats. The name comes from a small hill near the French town, which I will not even try to pronounce. Uh, its Flemish name is uh, Katzberg, and near this hill sits the abbey most famous for its amazing cheese produced by the monks since the 1890s. But how did it all start? First, uh, a community of the Hospital Brothers of St. Antoni uh, was settled in 1650 and uh, lasted uh, until the French Revolution, which closed the monastery in 1792. In 1826, a new community of uh, Trappist was founded, and this uh, congregation has run the abbey ever since. In 1848, the monastery built a forge uh, and a brewery, mainly to provide the monks with a low alcohol uh, table beer. However, visitors greatly appreciated the beer and soon the abbey started producing a stronger beer. The beer was sold in wooden barrels with a round label on the cover. Brewing on a commercial basis was a success, but the First World War stopped the project once again. In April 1918, during the last campaign of uh, Germany in World War I, a terrible bombardment transformed the monastery into ruins as well as the brewery, which was never rebuilt. So the community uh, from that time lived mostly on their farm and their dairy products. But in 2009, the monks decided to pick up its brewing traditions and contacted Father Abbot Dom Armand at Chime, who agreed to provide the Montecats Abbey with the beers. And so, after decades without beer at the Abbey of Montecats, the creation of a new Trappist beer was announced on June 9, 2011. Since the beer is not brewed inside the walls of the Abbey, they are not allowed to wear the ATP logo. Nonetheless, it's still a genuine Trappist beer and the first one in France. So, how does it taste like? There's some nice uh, fruity aromas. Uh, there's some notes of flowers, some citrus and, and some fresh herbs. The taste is full with notes of plum. There's the Belgian cheese, which means there's a banana. And I find very fresh uh, green apples, some spicy nutmeg, and there's um, a little bit of, uh, I think, clove in the end. What's my verdict? Um, I really like this one. This is the first, uh, first beer from, from Monte Cats. I will give it a 3.6 out of 5. Next week, we are heading over to Spain and the newest member of the brewing Trappist monks, Cardena. Cheers and don't forget to subscribe.